Hey everyone, it's Bradley back in the brewery. If you are new here, I do lots of brew tools related videos. I mean lots. I also do all sort of other kind of beer related videos. So if that sounds good to you, why not like and subscribe? People tell me it's great. So today's video is going to be a brew day. I'm uh, participating in the 2020 BrewTubers uh, yeast experiment. Basically, we're all brewing the same exact IPA recipe as exact as we can be. The only variation is gonna be the yeast. There's 13 of us doing it. So that means uh, in about a month, I'll have 13 different IPAs to drink and that's gonna be good. And we'll all kind of get an idea of what the different strains of yeast do to the beer and how stuff works out. So it's gonna be great, like I said. Just a real quick word from the experiment sponsors and we'll get right into the brew day. Welcome to the 2020 BrewTubers Online Brewers Club Yeast Experiment. Brought to you by our proud sponsors. Woody's Home Brew Store. Use code BREWTUBERS for 10% off your entire order and get free shipping on any order over $58. Go to www.woodyshomebrew.com. Imperial Yeast, a half stainless steel mash panel sponsor of the BrewTubers Online Brewers Club and official yeast provider of the yeast experiment. Imperial Yeast offers brewers of all sizes access to world-class yeast and the best possible customer and technical support. Be sure to grab a pack or two now at your local homebrew shop or Woody's Homebrew. And lastly, Hopsteiner, the official hops provider of the 2020 yeast experiment. Get brewing. All right, guys, here we are back. About to slip on the redesign, no, no. Center pipe. Remember to uh, lube up the uh, O-ring in here. It's all about technique. Just wanna be gentle with her. Just slip this guy on. Just like that. Make sure everything's good and tight. Grain stoppers handy. Start adding in. There's about almost 28 pounds of grain here uh, based on my system and my calculations. So I'll keep on going in. to start recirculating with the mash hat so here we go recirculation underway um, the new mash new design works same as the old one it might work a little bit better definitely has a nicer seal um, I've got a little bit different setup I've been wanting to try and I think I'm going to switch to that right now. All right, guys, I got that manifold in place. Just kind of wanted to try this out and see how it goes. So here goes nothing. We'll start slowly recirculating through the manifold. See how, see how it works out. As you can see, the manifold seems to work pretty good. I'll kind of follow up with my full thoughts on it in a little while. Once our 60 minute recirculation is over. All right guys, we are about 20 minutes before mash out. Recirculating away. Everything seems to be great. Nothing stuck, no mess, no fuss. All the shiny bits are still there. And that's what I like to see. And the uh, manifolds actually worked out surprisingly well. I've only used it one time, so the jury is still obviously out, but it seems to be pretty great. All right, timer just went off, so we are heading to mash out temperature. Let's get this guy sparged and start boiling. I got things to do, baby.
All right, guys, we are mashed out. We are going to lift the malt pipe and... All right, here we go with the sparge. And just like that, we're sparging. We'll turn it down a little bit, try and slow it down some. Or just speed it up and let it wash the grain. I just left that manifold in there because uh, pulling it out, pulling it out would have been a pain in my ass at this point. Easy to do it once it's done. So we're going to head and sparge with seven point something gallons and see how that goes. We're going to let it sit for a minute. You don't want too much uh, water up on top of the grain bed, so this way we'll kind of let it catch up and then start rinsing it, guys. And with the uh, redesigned uh, uh, mash hat or sparge hat and center pipe, it definitely has a lot better flow, um, definitely seals much better, and that's evident right now. But it's a far more sophisticated design. And I'm enjoying it, but maybe a little too much. All right, guys, here's a little look at my sparge shut up from a different angle. Don't think I've ever shown it, so there it is. We are out of water. All right, sparge complete. Everything went awesome. We're here right about to boil. As Soon as I get boiling really good, I'll stir in whatever protein is left. We'll throw the steam pad on and we'll wait a few minutes for my first top edition. Here we are, hot break. Stir it in. Back the power down to like 80% for this just because there's no need for all the watts. All right, just threw the steam hat on, back the power down, and set the boil timer. Got about a few minutes before my first my first top edition. Until then, there's just uh, nothing to see. It's kind of boring. All right, guys, excuse the noise from the exhaust hood running right above me, but it is just about time for the first top edition. That will be a. Uh, a little bit of uh, Sentinel going in. Here we go. That's it, first top edition done. All right guys, it is time for the second hop drop. That is Centennial. I know earlier I misspoke, said Sentinel. I've been saying it wrong for weeks. So here we go. That's it. Easy as can be, nothing too exciting, but we're making beer. All right, guys, it is time for the addition of Irish Moss. I've never used it before. I always use a uh, protoflock, but nonetheless, it's going in right now. And that's it. This stuff stinks. I'm never gonna use it again unless the brew tubers make me. It's got four ounces of citra going in though kind of whirlpool edition so there it is stop all right guys thanks for staying with me through the whole brew day transferring into the unit tank where i'm not fermenting under any pressure whatsoever i'm going to pitch the yeast i'm using it's imperial independence um yeah a15 it should be great hopefully it plays pretty well um, with uh, the little bit of dry hop we're gonna do one day before transferring and decay. So with that, I'm gonna call the night. I have a lot of cleaning to do. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Bradley. Remember, home brewing is good.